Another player they could also move on from is defensive end Charles Minahue, which of course is a surprising name to hear listed, but once you hear the reasoning as to why, uh, I can see how they get to that potential conclusion as a cut candidate. If you look at Aminahue's contract next year, he's got a cap hit of nearly 11 million, but you can save around seven and a half million dollars by moving on from him. And while I think Aminahue is a great player and would love for him to stay, it's tough when he tore his ACL late in the postseason and will not be 100% ready to go until around week eight to week 10 in the regular season. And that's why I guess the Chiefs could potentially move on from him. He was listed as a potential cut candidate by Nick Spano of U Stadium. Aminahue may have seen this article in some fashion as well because he took to Twitter over the weekend and had a couple of things to say. He first said, I want to feel appreciated. Then shortly after said, I didn't have a full season and put up numbers. Does that go unnoticed? Might have to do it again to get what I want in the end. And while I have no idea what he wants in the end, could be respect, money, be a long-term deal, or maybe a bit of both. We may never know, but later that evening, Aminahue then said, these Twitter GMs kill me 95% of the time. Y'all be wrong as hell, which makes me think he may have seen that article and hopefully means he plans on being around next season. Though again, I can see why someone would list Charles as a potential cut candidate based on his injury and how much they could save by moving on from him. With that being said though, what do you guys think? Do you think this could be the end for a minute or heck nah, the Chiefs are definitely keeping him around even if they only get him for half of the season. Let me know either way in the comments down below.